Hi folks, and welcome back to another Philosophy Club. So, what we're going to do today is look at what it means to know something. Specifically, what does it mean to say that a person knows something? And to do that, we're going to look at it through three parts. So that might sound all a bit boring, um, so we're going to start with a quick card game. Okay, so on the screen are two cards face down. One is a red suited card and the other is a black suited card. I want you to tell me which one is the red card. Okay, go. Okay, so this time it's the one on the right. Um, if you didn't get it, I'll give it one more go and see what you guess. Okay, so this time it's the card on the left. So don't worry if you didn't get it. Okay, now if you got it right, I want to ask you, did you know where the red card was? Like, did you really, really know? Hopefully you'll say no because you were guessing each time, right? So can we say that someone who guesses something and gets it right actually knows that thing, or is it just a coincidence? I think it's just a coincidence. So if guessing and getting it right isn't enough to say that a person has knowledge, then we'll try something else. Okay, so in this new game, I'm just going to tell you which card is which. Uh, there's no tricks, um, so the card on the left is the red card this time. So, uh, which card is the red card? Oh wow, look, the card on the left is red. Did you get it right? Hopefully. Because the first part of what it means to know something is that that thing is true. This might sound like a no-brainer, but it's very important. You wouldn't say that someone knows something if that thing wasn't true, would you? Okay, so that's the first part done. The second part is belief. So if you got it right this time, it was because you believed it was true. So if something is true, is believing something enough to say that we have knowledge of that thing? Or to put it more simply, is belief the same as knowledge? Well, not quite. If, for example, Plato says, I believe it's raining, but you might think, okay, well, yeah, it is raining, so Plato knows it's raining. Okay, but Plato said, I believe it's raining. And if Plato said he knew something and he was right, and you really wanted to know how Plato knew something, you'd say, it is raining, but how did you know it was raining? And if Plato said back, because a psychic told me that it was going to be raining at this exact time, you might think, uh, Plato's claims to knowledge were a bit off. That while he was correct, and believed he was correct, he still didn't have knowledge because his reasons just weren't very good, were they? Which brings us to our final part of what it means to have knowledge, which is reasons. So if we go back to our card game, we might say that our reason for saying that the card on the left is red is... I trust Ian when he says that the card on the left is red. He wouldn't be allowed to make these videos if he was just lying all the time. And he made the game. So I think the card on the left is red based on these reasons. And yeah, fair, I wouldn't go around lying for the crack. So if we have good reasons to think that I'm not a liar, which I'm not, and I say that the card on the left is red, and you believe me, and say that the card on the left is red because, again, I am not a liar and I put the card there to begin with, and it turns out the card is red, then does it fulfill our requirements for knowledge? Well, let's look at it. We have A, a reason for B, our belief that is true. So yeah, we can finally say that we know the card on the left is red. Yeah! Woohoo! Go you! Look at us! Enjoy finally being able to say that you know what it means to know something. How exciting. Go out into the world with your knowledge. Spread the joy. Bask in the joy of what it means to really, really know something. And enjoy that until next week. When we, like good philosophers, find a very big problem with what we've just been talking about. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll see you again next week where we continue on our quest to find what is knowledge.